Lord, I know my selfishness is ugly and it goes against what you want for me. So Lord, I pray, I pray that you will help me to become less selfish, to not think so highly of myself, to think less of myself, to just not think of myself nearly as often as I do. Lord, you're the one who created me. And you know, as your word says, you know my frame and you know how weak I am in that. And that my selfish nature is something that certainly is prone for me to always put myself above others. But Lord, I don't want that. I want how you want me to be, Lord. I want to be selfless. I want to die to myself so that you might live in a more powerful way in me. Lord, you call me to lay down my life to follow you and walk in obedience to your will. And you know, and I know that as I do that, that's how I become more like you. So, Lord, I pray that you would show me the places where my selfishness is just bubbling up. And especially show me the places where I may not even realize it, where it's just so much a part of, you know, what I, I think of as my daily things that I do that actually has those things and embroiled with lots of things where I'm thinking way too highly of myself and not thinking nearly enough of, of you and not thinking nearly enough of other people. Lord, I pray that you would convict me of these things. I pray that you would help me to recognize them and to take action and to submit them to you and ask for your Holy Spirit to do a work of cleansing in my life. Lord, I, I am so grateful that you don't expect me to be perfect because you know that there is no way that I could ever get there. But I want to be like you. I want to love people like you. I want to communicate and share with people like you do. And I don't want myself to be the barrier that stands in the way of that. So, Lord, I just offer this to you and ask for your help. I ask that you would show me when to not say something that's on my mind of that would go into being selfishness. I ask that you would help me to make my daily choices so that they reflect you more than my selfishness. I ask that every conversation I have, that you would help me to reflect you and not just pursue my own selfishness in it. Lord, thank you for your graciousness that you even want to help us with these things. You don't leave us alone when we know that we're struggling with things and we want your your way and your will. Thank you that, that you hear our prayers. And as I say and lay and, and confess my selfish ways to you, that you still love me and that you want to help me and that you give me the power to overcome and walk in a greater level of freedom than I do now with it. Lord, I proclaim... What your word says about selfishness and the way that it affects things. And, and then I proclaim your truth of knowing that you can help me to, to walk away from these ways and pursue you in a greater way. Psalm 119.36, turn my heart toward your statutes and not toward selfish gain. Help me to always be thinking of your word, of your promises, of what you say, of what you, what you want from me as I pursue you, Lord. And Romans 2, 8. Wow. But for those who are self-seeking and who reject the truth and follow evil, there will be wrath and anger. Lord, you you are very conscious of our self-seeking. So I don't want to ever stop and, and forget about that aspect of it. It means something to you, Lord. So it means something to me then that I can have you help me to overcome this selfish bent that I have. Romans 12.10, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Lord, that's my, that's my hope. That's my prayer. That's what I ask you to help me to be able to do, Lord, in your kindness and in your graciousness. And Lord, we think of Philippians 2, 3 and 4. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Lord, you're so clear in your word about how you want us to really be looking and thinking, and caring, and loving others. So Lord, please help me to do that. Please empower me by your Holy Spirit to do that. And please let me be very conscious of the times that I'm not, that I might be quick to offer them to you for your forgiveness and for your cleansing. Thank you, Lord, that when you say you want us to be like you, you don't allow us to think that we just have to climb this, this unconquerable mountain in that. But Lord, you actually help us. Thank you for that. So I lay all these things at your feet and ask you to do a work for your glory, Lord. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. 
Hey, thank you so much for wanting to be a part of this prayer. I hope it serves as a model and an encouragement for you as you pursue after the Lord. We see the ugly things in our, ourselves a lot of times, and the Lord is so kind to be able to help us and, and walk in freedom and not let those things rule our lives. So I'd love if you would like, comment, and subscribe to this channel um, just so we can be more connected and that hopefully these prayers can connect with more people too. Thanks.